Alright folks, this is Pitching Ace 88, and we're playing the Light Crusader today. This is, uh, we're gonna start a new game. I shall have my revenge for what they have done to me. I shall never forgive them. I like this opening scene. This is a, this is a game played on the Sega Genesis. Um, on my Sega Genesis, so we'll see how the resolution comes out. I am David, a swordsman in the service of King Frederick. After a long journey, the king invited me to take a holiday in nearby Green Row. So the story centers around Sir David. He thought it was just going to be a vacation. Little did he know, he was in for something more. It had been a while since I was last in Green Row. I looked forward to returning. Nazo squared. That's cool. I like how the beginning's kind of like a movie. Sets up. When I arrived, Green Row felt odd. The townspeople seemed to be frightened of something. Sir David, I am pleased to see you. You've traveled a great distance. When I asked what was what had been happening in Green Row, King Whedon began to tell the most amazing story. A lot of people have been disappearing recently. Townspeople fear some magic spell may have been cast. You are such a gifted swordsman, Sir David. Please search for the missing people. I certainly will. Okay, now you get to take control. C is to jump. Uh, B is to swing. I don't remember what A is, but we'll figure that out as we go. Um, just kind of reacquainting myself with this place. This is a save. Might as well save. So, and it will save in the slot that you designate. Let's talk to this lady. Oops. No. Oops. Okay. If you lose your way, please consult the Oracle. Who may be able to help you? Alright, so, consult the Oracle. We... I pretty I should know what to do in this game. Uh, come into this room. You gain a red potion that'll restore some of your life. Um, funny story about the beginning of this game with me was this is the first game that I've actually ever uh, cheated on. First game. Uh, I had gotten this game and I had been working and or I've been trying this for like an hour and I had just. I got lost, I went through every single square inch of it, and I could not... Okay, I don't want to talk to her. She's a psychic. Just tells me that I'm probably going to die. Uh, psycho Lady. Hell's Kitchen. Um, but yeah, so I've been trying to play... I, I've been working at this. I've been, I talked to every single person, and I couldn't figure it out. So there's a little uh, number on the cartridge that, that would tell you where the cheat was, and I actually... Um, we actually called it up and they helped me out in a place later where I'll show you where I needed it. Um, this is where he says, touch whatever we like. Kaiser. Bronze. Relayer. Okay, these are all pretty good items. Um, you can get you can get money. I, I normally uh, just keep playing this over and over again. There'll be a section where you can keep getting these uh, globs, which are, the mo which are monsters. I trying to figure out where everything is because I recognize a lot of this place. Okay, these are your spells. I do remember that a little bit. Uh, those are fun. The, the the spell aspect of the game is is kind of, is pretty fun. Okay, I can't kill the cows. I thought it, I thought it was I thought it would say oops, but yep, you can jump on the cows. But this part, there's millions of these graves here. No idea. I mean, if you're playing this game, you go, what What do I do? What What should I do? 
and you see this little part on the ground and you go, huh, there's got to be a way. So I kept looking and looking and I can see it now because I've played this, but if you look right here, there's a little place where the uh, grave seemed to have been moved. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to push it over. If you push it over, it allows you to go down. So this will be the first. Just keep walking. Pinnacle looks like it's slowing down a little bit. I'll have to check uh, after this section of videos to see how it actually performs. Um, you can go through the gate, but I'm going to go this way. These are your first enemies. Ouch. They're, they're not that hard. I'm making them harder than they should be. Ouch. I have... Hit them. Hit them. They always, they, they will, most of them will just drop something. So fillets, fillets are really good because you can sell them to, to a cat later. Um, here's like the first puzzle of the game. Uh, the blue means that it can, uh, it won't actually hurt you. There are some of these lasers that, uh, will hurt you and I just screwed up. So I need to go back in. Push forward. And then to switch the laser you have to hit it and then it'll hit the door and then you can go through. Okay. Okay. These these are a little bit tougher enemies. Uh goblins, standard goblins. Ow. Ooh, fish. Fish are always nice. I kind of remember this jumping thing being kind of effective. You have to. Hit, yeah, I think you have to kill all of them to uh, to proceed. And then you can come in here, slice the ice. You gained key one. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what key one does, but let's go to our inventory. This is our inventory. We can hold a certain amount, um, like in a lot of games. Uh, chicken fillets and fish will be your most expensive items that you can sell for gold. Um, magic, you can equip them. If you combine them, you can uh, get a more powerful spell. Uh, so, but there we have 10 magic, and I believe it's pressing the A button that'll do it. So when I go to this place, okay. So, so yeah, it is the A button. I was wondering what that was for. Okay, water. That was a little helpful. 20 gold pieces. Kind of helpful. Uh, apparently there's no more enemies. Let's head through here. 